السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شيخ حسين إمام خالد كونغولا بروبرو الأفريكاني شيف إمام إمام حسين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقالوا كونوا هدى او نصارى تهتدوا قل هو الملة ابراهيم حنيفا وما كان من المشركين قل امنا بالله وما انزل الينا وما انزل الى ابراهيم إسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأسباد وما أوتي موسى وعيسى وما أوتي النبيون من ربهم لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون من آمنوا بمثل ما آمنتم به فقد اهتدوا وإن تولوا فإنهم في شقاق فسيفيك هم الله وهو السميع العليم سبقة الله ولا أصل من الله سبقة ونحن له عابدون ولا تعجوننا في الله وهو ربنا وربكم ولا أعمالنا ولكم أعمالكم ونحن له مخلصون سبغة الله سبغة الله ولا أزال من الله سبغة ونحن له عابدون ولا تعجوننا في الله وهو ربنا وربكم ولنا أعمالنا ولكم أعمالكم ونحن له مخلصون صدق الله العظيم وبلغ الرسول الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر إن شاء الله today we are going to say few things about Almighty God Almighty Allah the creator of everything Sahilan wa Batina visible and invisible Seen and unseen, Almighty Allah created everything. Seven heavens, seven earth, and what is within these heavens and what is within these earths. And whatever is found on earth, seas, mountains, humans, human beings, genes, whatever. 
as all have all been created by Almighty Allah. There is nothing comparable to Almighty Allah. Today, with the power of Almighty Allah, I thank Him million, billion times for giving me the health, sound health, knowledge, and an understanding to say a word or two about the most truthful religion, Islam. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad Muzallim, Muhammad Muzammin, and after the Makhlukat, Al-Azam Al-Makhlukat, the last Prophet, there will be no Prophet after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's the leader of all Prophets, the noblest of all Prophets, and the favorite of Almighty Allah, Habibullah. When he was in Medina, when we say Medina, we have two major cities in Islam, Mecca and Medina, and Jerusalem too, three, and many more. The Prophet Muhammad was born in Mecca. This Mecca is where Muslims go on pilgrimage every year, where the Kaaba is found. That is where the Prophet was born. He belongs to the tribe of Quraysh. And after persecutions, God Almighty, Allah Almighty told him to leave Mecca and move on to Medina. Medina to Munawar. Before the arrival of the Prophet, this city was called Yathr. And now today, the most honorable human is found under the earth of this beautiful city of Medina to Munawar, the lighting city. So the Jews, we had Jews and Christians living in Medina. The Jews of Medina and the, uh, the Christians of Najra, they were telling the Medinites, they were telling the Medinites that Waqalu, Almighty Allah said in Surah Al Baqarah, Waqalu, and they said, these two major groups, Christians and Jews, Kuru, Huda, Al Nasara, they said, belong to our religion of Judaism or belong to our religion of Christianity. That means become Jews. Who is a Jew? A Jew who is one who belongs to the Jewish religion. So they said, Kuno Huda Nasara, be Jews or Christians as far as religion is concerned. When you become Muslim, when you become Christian or Jews, you will be rightly guided. Guided. That is what they said. And Allah Almighty, the Creator of everything, said, "Kul, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, ya, O Prophet, tell them by the middle of Ibrahim Hanifa, by the religion of Ibrahim is Hanif. When we say Hanif." We mean Islamic monotheism. And Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, Khalilullah, the friend of Almighty Allah, followed one religion. And this religion was Islamic monotheism. So he knew only one and only Almighty Allah. At this juncture, I would like you to say a hadith, a saying of the Prophet. When we say Prophet, we mean the most honorable man on earth, was, is, and will always be Muhammad Mustafa. He said, La tu saddikul ahli al kitab wa la tu kazibuhum. Amanna billahi wa ma unzila ilayna. In Sahih Muslim, it says, Amanna billahi 
Allah Azza wa Jalla. It is same. The Prophet, the most honorable person on earth, Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, "La tusadikul ahl al-kitab, don't believe the Christians. Wala tukaziluhum, and don't disbelieve them." But say, Amanna billahi, we have faith in Almighty Allah, and all what He sent to us. And all the prophets from Adam, from Adam, the husband of Hawa, <coughs> they all came on this one Islamic monotheism. Of course, as the years went by, there were some misinterpretations or different interpretations or whatever it is, but they all came on one religion, Islamic monotheism. Because the Prophet Muhammad said, Nahnu the Prophet Muhammad said, Nahnu Mashal al Anbiya, we all, all of us, the Prophets, beginning from Adam the father of mankind, created by the mightiest, Almighty Allah, from clay and from his ribs, his wife Hawa Eve was created. So from Adam alayhi salatu was salam till the last prophet who is Khatim al nabiyyin the last prophet Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said in one transmission, one hadith he said, Nahnu mashallah al-Anbiya, we all, we prophets all, awlaadullah, we are all from the same mother. Dinuna Wahid, our religion is one. In which religion? The most truthful religion, Islam. Because Allah Almighty said in the Holy Quran, in the Dina Allah Islam, the religion of Almighty Allah is Islam. So these Jews and Christians in Medina, they were telling Muslims, become Christians or Jews. When you become one of these groups, you will be rightly guided. And Allah Almighty said to the Prophet, Tell them, Qul, Bal Millad Ibrahim Hanifa. But the religion of Ibrahim was Hanif, monotheism. Praying to Almighty Allah, only one God. No other gods besides God. God is the creator of everything, and we have only one God. There is no other God except Allah, God. And I, Ibrahim, Abraham, the Christians called him, called him. Ibrahim was not, was not one of the people who practiced polytheism. That is polytheism, praying to many, many minor gods like in most of the countries in the yesteryears. And unfortunately, Today, when you pray to sun, when you pray to moon, when you pray to statues, they are all on the wrong way. You pray al Ma'bud, the only God to be prayed to, the only mighty, the creator of everything to be prayed to is only Allah, nothing more and nothing less. This earth belongs to Almighty Allah, the heavens belongs to Him, everything belongs to Him, everything belong to Almighty Allah because He's the creator of everything. The Lord of seven heavens, seven earth, and what is within all this earth. Besides that, everything belongs to Almighty Allah. He is the creator. Al Wahid al Ahad, the only one. And the only one to be prayed to. So Allah said Tell them 
the religion of Abraham was Hanif, that is Islamic monotheism, praying to only one God, the creator of everything, and he wasn't one who belonged to uh, polytheists. Kulu, and Allah said, you Muslims, tell them. And Allah was talking to the prophet, the noble, the noblest man on earth, was, is, and will always be. Allah was talking to him, to the Muslim, tell them, Amanna billahi, we believe in Almighty Allah. On all, everything that he sent to us, we believe in them all. Which clearly shows that Islam, Muslim, we believe perfectly in the gospel given to Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary, the son of Maria. We believe in Torah given to Moses, Musa, who spoke to God. And we believe in the gospels. We believe in the Gospels sent to Jesus Christ, we call it Injil, Evangelium, you can say it too. And we believe in the Psalms sent to Da'ud, David. These are all prophets absolutely recognized, accepted, and must be accepted. And we, we accept them all as prophets of Almighty God. And Allah said, what was sent to Ibrahim? Ibrahim was Abraham. He was also sent books. In some say they say, hey, Sufi Ibrahim or Musa, we have it in Surah Al-Ana. What was sent to Ishmael? We call him Ismail. What is Haq? What was sent to Isaac? We call him Ishaq. And what was sent to Jacob? We call him Yaqub. Oh, and what was sent to Asbad? Asbad means the 12 tribes of Jacob. So all these people, what they brought, what God sent them with, we believe in all this. And our Almighty Allah goes on to tell us, and what was given to Moses, Musa, and that is the Torah. And what was given to Isa, Jesus, that is the Evangelium. Everything given to the prophets by Almighty Allah. And we submit ourselves to the Creator, to the only Allah. We submit ourselves to Almighty Allah because He created you. And so He created you and He said, Allah created you mankind. And the genes, when we say genes, we absolutely believe that there are beings living besides the humans. They see us, we don't see them. And we call them genes. It's a create. They are. It's a creature living parallel to humanity. They see us, and we don't see them. So Allah said, "It's not in our love." Allah is the one who 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 is the one Almighty said, In Nahu, Shaitan, Satan is seeing you with his troops, children, and forces. In Nahu, Yaraku, he sees you in Haithulat Allah, from where you don't see them. That means Satan is operating every day, every minute, every second to try to bring people from the way of Almighty God. And nothing but to bring them into hell. But who follows Satan has no place on the judgment day but hell. May Allah protect us from 
confusion and sedition, seduction of Satan. He's trying to, to seduce people to the wrong ways and we protect and we pray to Almighty Allah to shower His protection, blessings on us so that we may withstand and can withstand the seduction and the confusion of Satan who has been cursed by Almighty Allah for refusing to prostrate the grandfather of mankind, Adam alayhi salatu wassalam. Inshallah, in another occasion, we may dwell on this topic. So Allah went on to say in Surah Al-Baqarah, فَإِنَا أَمَضُوا بِمِثْلَ مَا أَمَنْتُمْ بِهِ If they, the Christian, the Jews, and mankind as a whole, if they believe to what you believe, you Muslims, then they are rightly guided. But if they turn away, which clearly means they are trying to present themselves as opposition to the words of Almighty Allah. Dissension. Because if Allah, the creator of everything, who sent Muhammad Mustafa as the last prophet, and he says, follow this way, and you follow your way, that means you are descending from the words of Almighty Allah. And if you keep on like that, till the angel of death comes to grab you, my brothers and sisters, worldwide, then you might be one of the losers. We pray to Almighty Allah to protect us, keep us on the Surat al Mustaqim, on the straight path. Because Satan is working every day, every minute. For in now in vision, God, they, are in, they find themselves in dissension, opposition to the words of Almighty God. For say, think of whom Allah and Almighty Allah is saying, when you look at Tafsir Jalal, Tafsir Jalalaini. And I've seen Imam Ibn Kathir, Imam Qutubi. Fasaik fika hum Allah means, Fayan Sulak Allah, Allah will help you. Why? Wahuwa al Sami'un Alim is all here and all Nuwa. So God sent you to spread His words. To remove people from darkness to light. So what is the problem? God created this earth. He created the whole world. And he said, my servant, my slave, and he showed you two ways. This way is leading to hell. Jahannam, and this way is leading to paradise. And since you don't know exactly which way you belong to, all, the only thing you must do is try to follow the words of Almighty Allah in the Holy Quran, brought to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu by, by Angel Jibreel, Gabriel. He brought all these revelations to Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when the revelations come, there are people around the Prophet who write down these revelations. One of them is Zayd ibn Thabit. So they write it down on calabashes, on uh, goat skin, sheep skin, they write it almost everywhere. So after the death of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Abu Bakr Siddiq gave Zayd ibn Thabit the assignment to try to collect all these Papers, whatever the revelations were written, or to collect them together in a form of one book, and that is how Quran came into being. So all these revelations sent to the Prophet were compiled to one book, and this is the book 
we had those days, 1,500, almost 1,500 years ago, and it's the same Holy Spirit book on earth, the Quran, which we will have forever, inshallah. Because God Almighty said, Inna nahna zanna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizu. Say we said, but if this is Almighty Allah. If He wishes, He say we. If He wishes, He say I. But He is only one. We send this book al and we will make sure that there will be no fabrications, there will be no falsifications in this holiest book on earth, the Holy Quran. In the Quran we had centuries ago, the same Quran we have today. Blessings, blessings, blessings to our holy Quran. Because you see, Islam is not for one particular race or tribe or country. No, Islam is universal. Islam is African. Islam is American. If Islam is Arab, Arabic, Islam is European. Islam is Chinese. Islam is Russian. Islam is universal. Why? Because Almighty Allah said in the Holy Quran, "Wama asamna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin." Oh, Prophet Muhammad, we have sent you as what? As a blessing to the whole world. When we say the whole world, we have different worlds. We have the world of mountains. We have the world of jinns. We have the world of human beings. We have the world. Of, we have different animals. We have the world of everything, and the Creator. Of all these worlds. We have the world of jinns. These living beings who see us and we don't see them. We have Muslims among them and we have non Muslims. So, all these created beings, the creator of all these created beings is Allah, Almighty God. Allah. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa ahdahu la sharika la, wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like I said previously, Islam is African, Islam is American, Islam is Latin American, Islam is Russian, Islam is European, Islam is Arabic, Islam is Persian, Islam is Afghan, everything, the Islam comes to the whole world. Like Allah said, We have sent you the Prophet Muhammad as a blessing to the whole world. So there is no group or particular uh, tribe who can claim that this religion belongs to me alone. No. The religion brought, sent to Prophet Muhammad from Lanza to mankind is universal. The Prophet, the best man on earth, was, is, and will always be Muhammad Mustafa was an Arab. Definitely. Of course, every African American, German, or whoever, Chinese, may wish he was an African or Chinese. But God knows he is the knower of everything. He chose him, Muhammad Mustafa, the chosen one. He chose him as a prophet to mankind, the last prophet of mankind. That's why Allah said, in Surah Al Imran, in Kuntum to Hibun Allah for Tabi'uni, in Kuntum to Hibun Allah for Tabi'uni, in Hibun Allah. The Prophet Almighty, the Prophet, the noblest man on earth, and Almighty is only Allah because He created the Prophet. He created me and you. He created everything. So we are all servants of Almighty Allah. So He chooses, and that's whatever He chooses to do, He alone. He chose to, spoke to, to speak to Moses. He chose Muhammad Mustafa an Arab as the prophet and the last prophet and the leader of prophets worldwide, forever. So Allah said in the Holy Quran, when you come to Hebrew Allah, if you love Allah, Fattabi'oni, then follow me, you have Allah, the Prophet said. Allah will love you. And your sins, he will forgive you. And this is absolutely true. Because the Prophet, Allah said in Surah Al-Najm, He doesn't say things just out of uh, luxury or leisure or out of, just out of nowhere. No. 
whatever he says is 500 million times true. But God sent him to say these things. He's not saying it just out of his own pleasure. No. God sent him to tell mankind why to remove you from darkness into light. So what is the problem now? He came as a favor to mankind and not only mankind and to the genes to everything. So Allah said but if they turn away from you, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rasulullah, Habibullah, Muhammad Madathur, Muhammad Muzammil, Muhammad Muhtar, Muhammad Munir. If they turn away from you, find no one physical, so they find themselves in dissension, opposition to the words of Allah. For say, Fika Allah, but Allah will help you, will protect you, give you victory. To spread his own words. is all listener and all, all hearer and all knower. And Allah went on to say in Almighty, Almighty Quran, Allah went on to say in His holiest book on earth, Quran and Majid. his father and the father of the Prophet Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib, they had the same father. So these are they are all children of Abdul Muttalib. So Imam Abdullah ibn Abbas said, here what Allah says, Allah, he means the religion of Allah. And this is a religion of Islamic monotheism, which was practiced by Abraham والسلام, who refused to accept any other gods but the only God. See we got on one asad in Allah, you see we got on one hand. Is that the religion of God and which which is the most beautiful thing as the religion of God? Yeah, this is Islamic religion. I mean, when you ask yourself logically, let's put aside Islamic and spiritual sins. I mean, how can you pray to a created thing? You got if somebody sits down and prepares a statue, it was created or done by this human being. So how can you pray to the created? And not to the Creator. I mean, this is this is uh, logical. This is uh, this is something like logical discrepancy. Because the Creator is there, who created everything, and somebody somewhere just came to out of the Creator to create his own thing as a statue or whatever it is. Or when you pray to the sun, or to the moon or to the stars, or to the tree, they are all created by who? By Allah, Wahid al-Qahar. So how can you pray to the created instead of the creator of the created? I thank Almighty Allah for putting all these words in my mouth. I thank you million, billion, billion times, limitless. I thank you for giving me the health, the knowledge, to speak about all these things. It's not my own making. It's my making of the Almighty Allah. Who jobless, no one curse. This is one answer to me that Allah is similar to which religion, which choice is better than the Islamic choice Allah made for you? And we submit ourselves, present ourselves 
to pray to Almighty Allah, the creator of everything. And then he went on. And there was some religious dispute. Some people saying, it's our God, your God, our God, or whatever it is. We believe strongly in the, all the prophets sent by God Almighty. Sulaiman, we call him Solo, we call him Sulaiman, Christian call him Solomon, was a prophet. David, we call him Daoud, was a prophet. Ibrahim, Abraham, was a prophet. Moses, Musa, was a prophet. Isa, Jesus, was a prophet. Shuaim, Salah, all these prophets, we believe and accept and recognize them as prophets sent by Almighty Allah. And when we look at the Hadith Ibn Habban, Sahih Ibn Habban, the Prophet said, Abu Zar asked the Prophet, how many prophets were sent? The Prophet said, the Prophet sent, the Prophet sent were about 124,000. So, and I mean, uh, when you, this is the truth of Islam. This is how Islam is truthful. Because Allah, the Almighty said, what we count as thousand years is one day for Allah. So, I mean, the Prophet came almost 1,500 years ago. That means it is almost one and a half days for Allah, what we think are thousands of years. So you must know and believe that there is no one to be prayed to, to be worshipped, but only Allah. Whoever worships anything besides Allah is lost, inshallah. But all the same, at the end of the day, on the judgment day, it's Almighty Allah who will judge everybody and tell everybody where he goes to. Why? Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi the best man on earth, was is and will always be Muhammad Mustafa. Regardless of your hatred or whatever you say, he is the chosen one. He is the leader of the prophets. Allah chose him, Muhammad Muhtar, to be the last prophet. So whoever says of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is a prophet is nothing but a naked liar. There is no prophet after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Khatim is the last prophet. They said, Are you disputing with us about Allah? وَلَا تُصَدِّقُوا الْأَحْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَلَا تُكَذِّبُوهُ وَقُولُوا 
آمنا بالله وما أنزل إلينا إن أنا دار وايا وما أنزل إلينا is the same ولا تصدقوا على الكتاب على الكتاب don't believe Christians ولا تكذبون and don't disbelieve them وقولوا but say آمنا بالله we believe in Almighty Allah وما أنزل إلينا آمنا بالله وما أنزل إلينا and what he sent to us so my brothers and sisters worldwide I'm not sitting here with my own capability no it's almighty Allah who gave me the health strength knowledge to say one or two things about Islam I thank almighty Allah for giving me this strength health knowledge to say one or two things about, about Islam the religion of almighty Allah Thank you million, billion, billion, million, billion times. I thank you, Almighty Allah. Dawahum fiha, subhanaka Allahumma, wa tayhiyaduhum fiha, salamun. Wa hal dawahum, wa alhamdulillahi, wa ambil alamin. Almighty Allah, I thank you very, very much. I thank you very, very much. Inshallah, may God bless me, may God bless you, and may God bless the whole world. Almighty Allah, we thank you. And thank you for blessings. Thank you for blessings day in and day out. Protect us and give us sound help and health and we pray to you, Almighty Allah. Wherever is sick, may Allah give us the health. Whoever is poor, may Allah give us blessed richness. We thank you. Or whoever is weak in his religion, Islam, Iman, Allah, we pray to you. Magnify our Iman. Magnify our strength to pray to all you, to you, Almighty Allah. Almighty Allah, there's nobody to pray to, there is nothing to pray to but you. You are Ma'bud. You are Al Awwal, Al Akhir, Al Zahir, Al Batin. La ilaha illa anta. Ashadu Allah ilaha illa Allah. Wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad al Abduhu wa Rasuluhu. Na masalli wa sallim wa sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. It's me, your brother, inshallah. Sheikh Imam Hussain Imam Khalid Congo, African Chief Imam Europe, Germany. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.